What's the difference between Jesus? What about Muhammad? What about Buddha? What about Gandhi? What about Elvis? Well, all those people are actually dead. But Jesus is the only one to raise himself back from the dead. It's true. You know, no one's found the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I would say to you today... Well, uh, a very good afternoon to you, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful day here in Southport. Hope you've got a big smile on your face. Hope there's lots to be happy about today. I wonder what you're thinking about today. Wonder what's on your... As soon as I started preaching, wonder what you were thinking about before you thought, will this man shut up? Will this street preacher keep his mouth shut? Wonder what you were thinking about today. I wonder if there's anyone going by today who's got a lot of care in their heart. You know, you, maybe you're anxious. Maybe you're anxious no, about the coronavirus. Maybe you're anxious about money things, family issues. I wonder what's going on in your heart. Do you know Jesus said this? Jesus said, come to me, all you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. I wonder if that's your answer. You know when you're stressed out, what's your answer? Do you get out the bottle? Do you uh, pull out a cigarette, maybe get a joint? Maybe have a nice meal. What do you do when you're stressed? Jesus says the answer for stress is to come to him. I wonder if you'll try that today. When you're stressed, when you're anxious, say, Jesus, I'm really stressed today. Please, would you help me? You will be amazed how he will change things. Okay, now on this board here, I've got some celebrities. I'm wondering if you can recognize any of these celebrities. Lads, do you recognize any of these guys? Do you know who this man here is with his feather dusters, with his tickle sticks? Oh, I know that one's Kelly Preston. Kelly Preston, that's right. Yeah, well done, Kelly Preston. Yeah, he's a wife of um, John Coulter and Shania. You've got it, you've got it, you've got it in one. Yeah, that's all we're about. Well, I was going to ask you, what does Kelly Preston have in common with Steve Jobs? What about this guy here? Do you recognise this man here? What's this guy? That's Jonah Loma. This man struggled. Well, at least you're engaging with me. Thank you for not ignoring me today, sir. Thank you. Jonah Loma, yeah, okay, right, what about um, this one here, Gary Speed, okay, do you recognise him? Who's this man? Here's a question for you, was this man the first man to walk on the moon? You weren't alive then, okay. Yeah? He wasn't actually, I don't know who the first one was, but apparently Neil Armstrong was not the first man to walk on the moon. Okay, so you've got Neil Armstrong, Steve Jobs, John Hume, uh, Ken Dog. I'm asking you, what do these people all have in common? It's a four-letter word. Are you, Ken? Are you ready? What do these what, what do these people all have in common? Tony Ben, Sir Ken Dog. Girls, do you know what these people all have in common? No? I'll tell you what it is. They're dead. That's something to put a, a, a smile on your face on a sunny afternoon, isn't it? They're dead, aren't they? Now, I don't want to break anyone's bubble, burst anyone's bubble, but did you know this? One day, I'm going to die. Can you believe that? I will. Can I say something about you? Do you know what's coming next? Yes. Yes. One day, you're going to die too. <laughs> all this gifting, all this talent, doesn't matter how beautiful you are, doesn't matter how intelligent you are, we're all going to die one day. So here's the big question. Here's what I want to drive home today. If today was your last day on planet Earth, where do you think you'd go? Do you think there's a heaven? Do you think there's a hell? Or do you think you'll just die and, and stay in the ground? Where will you go when you die? Jesus said this, it is appointed for man wants to die, and after that, the judgment. So when you die, here's a big shock for you, you're going to get judged. Not just for the thing that you did publicly where maybe you committed a crime, but also your thought life, your heart life, everything that we do, we're going to be judged one day. Can I ask you a question? Do you think you're good enough to get to heaven? What do you think, girls? Yeah? You don't think the middle one, the girl with the red hair thinks no, but your friend thinks right. Okay, well, what do you think God thinks? God says this, there's two kinds of people that get to heaven. Perfect people and forgiven people. Do you know the Bible says this? All liars, well, no liar will get into heaven. Now, I've got a big problem here because I've told lies. Can you believe it? I've told lies before. I've stolen things before. I, I, I've made my wife angry. I've made my wife cry. I'm not a nice person. Hello, it's my skateboarding friend. How are you doing? You alright? Good to see you. I, I've done wrong things before. I've, I've, I've sinned. But Jesus on the cross took the punishment for my sin. And did you know this? He took the punishment for your sin too. It's like this big unopened gift. Here's this gift which you could have for free. Jesus says, come to me, I'll forgive you, and I'll wash you white as snow. 
We've all got these stains of sin that, that cling to us, but Jesus can wash them away if you'll come to him and receive that forgiveness. I'm asking you today, please consider this. Please consider the God-man, Jesus Christ, who loves you, rose from the dead, and wants a friendship with you right now.